very frequent basis. It is, in fact, the only keyboard I have. And tonight, we are going to be using various tools and instruments to take apart and clean this keyboard. We're even going to give it a little cheeky bath. So, without further ado, let me get my tools. used to pry on various screws and stuff like that. But in this case, we're going to use it to hopefully pry up each individual keycap. Each individual one. Each individual keycap, 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 keycap. Okay, for now, I think that's all we need out of this is because 
arms, you probably can't see them. Cue to the third camera. Oh, th there's no third camera. Damn it. <laughs> things where you think you're clean and then you realize over the years one crumb a day amounts to a lot of crumbs a lot a lot of crumbs so i'm not entirely sure how i want to go about this the letter d is sticking out i'm just gonna try and pry it up
looks like melted plastic. So I don't know how easily this will actually come out. Doesn't look 100% promising. I want to be very delicate. Oh, go one side out. And the other side. Yeah, that's the whole thing. That's the entire logical part of this. It takes all the information just through one, two, three, four, four wires. Somehow relay all the information on this keyboard. I find that so, excuse me, mind-boggling. Guessing the green is ground, white is power and orange is information, so really you only have two cables that say information and everything else. It's just power. Interesting, because I'm going to put this to the side. I really don't want to get this wet. I definitely don't want to step on it. So, there you go. We can continue. Actually... some of the plastic has, you know, more air in it than other pieces. this way. 
is that there appear to be clips on the back of each individual cap, which makes sense because that's how it holds itself. The clips press in and they find a spot and open up, open up, open up, open up, and that holds them in place. So. I just realized I left my small pliers in my car and I do not want to go and get them. I really do not want to go and get them. Let's see if we can than I hope for. There you go. Some of them are easier and more difficult than others. I guess I should say easier and yet more difficult than others. Let's get just one here. easier than I thought. I thought these were going to be the delicate ones that were going to give me trouble. Okay, okay, I can, I can hear the audience. Give us that ambidextrous action. Up. There you go. 
So just doing this for the video thought it'd be a good sound. 
initially my plan was to wash this in front of in front of the view but I'm realizing now I'm gonna have to do this anyway I'm just gonna take this to the kitchen sink and I'm gonna rinse it out there completely put the water on high pressure and wash it all out with soap and that should take out all these crumbs so I'll be back right after that looks a lot better than it was earlier it's nice and clean on either side now the fun part so before we can get the keycaps back in their correct place we're gonna have to get any excess water off of this paper towel but in this case it really isn't a waste because if the keyboard is wet um, it will ultimately be ruined as we all know electronics and water do not go together specifically for keyboards I mean I think everybody's got a friend or somebody they've heard from who spilled something on their keyboard and then certain keys stopped working or it outright completely stopped working. Let's tap this up. Happy, 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 happy. 
has gone awry, so I'm really glad. <laughs> Typically, when I take things apart, I tend to, you know, make a little mistake here and there, and usually that means it breaks and I need to go buy new parts. So, I like to my, I like to think, I don't know what it is with me and talking today. I like to think I'm quite the handyman. <laughs> what you're currently witnessing is a coffee table that I made out of a vintage painting. And it wasn't tall enough. For this video, I needed it to be much taller. That's why I look like I'm a little kid at a big kid's table. Um, and I had to put books and peanut butter jars underneath the legs so they'd be tall enough. And I just got this felt blanket, or at least I think it's felt, um, on top of all this. So that's nice and soft. And also just so it protects the painting. Um, but I applied a clear coat varnish to the, well, it's um, polyurethane, to the surface of the painting. So it's protected from pretty much anything other than a hammer. But still, for this video, I much prefer a flat gray material because it's soft. And it's gonna help a little bit with the sounds, of course, but also I think it just looks better. It was completely spoiled, of course, by the paper towel here, but you, know, you can't win them all. You can't win them all. So once again, let's do some of this brushing without talking too much. ASMR purposes. Enjoy. up and plop them down. 
essentially I'm just doing everything in reverse order now. So what I you know, originally removed, I'm now putting back in. And hopefully I do not forget anything that might be important.
that's the beauty of this. If I put something in the wrong place, I'll know, you know. If something's wrong, it'll be very obvious. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then a zero after the nine. We got one of the arrow keys. I think it's going to be this side. I hope my memory works here, but yeah, it's funny how our brains work if if they know that they're going to be seeing this information all the time, three, four, five, then it doesn't even try to remember. Like if I need to type on the keyboard without looking at it, I can do it pretty successfully. So there is a amount of muscle memory that goes into it, but I don't think there's a lot of actual critical thinking memory that goes and remembers stuff like this. So I got all the key to facing like this. So right now I'm able to just reference. I haven't even put any letters in, see? Because I, I wouldn't even know until I see a Q W E R T Y. I won't be able to know what I'm supposed to plug in, so I got a Y. Q-W-E-R-T-Y, QWERTY. Got F8, but once again, so escape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I hope this is where it goes. That's why I'm not fully putting in any of these. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Because then I just have to pry them up and it would give me a lot of extra work. F10. We got a G, we got a B. We got a GB. Oh, is that the... Yeah, see, so I had a zero here. Oh, that's not a zero, that's an O. <laughs> so the zero has a bracket. Nine, zero. Which makes sense, because now we have a number nine with a open bracket and a zero with a closed bracket. So that makes sense. Page down, number three. Same with this side. I've never ever used this side, but it had arrow keys and it's numbers as well, so it's pretty obvious. Number four. Burger King Foot Funkies. The last thing you'd want in your burger. <laughs> Got another control, so controls can go here. This is really fun. It kind of feels like I'm building a puzzle. Control Alt. Now does it go Control? I think it goes Control Windows Key Alt. Wavy. This is my favorite one. It's the one with the wave on it. it goes right above the tab. F11. Got a little itch on my nose, page up. I think it's over here, and then page down below it. Page, oh wow, found it. I swear you couldn't plan this to be any better. I, I think that's where it would go. Because we got page down and up here as well. It could potentially go somewhere here, though. Got number seven. Five with nothing on it. I'd be in the middle here. Still have barely touched any of the letters. Oh, and these, I have no idea where they're gonna go. It's a mailbox. It's the little ones that go on the top. How did we say it goes? Q, W, QWERTY. Q, W, so Q. If I see a W, I know where it goes. I got another arrow key. This one. Oh no, I don't know which way they're supposed to go. Not if I had to make an educated guess. I'd say it's the... Oh. No, that doesn't look right. I'd say... No, that doesn't look Nope. So by process. 
process of elimination. It appears it's going to be an up, but I don't like that. It doesn't match the um, the previous idea that I had. Oh no, I'm running out of ones that I'm familiar with. I got an F9. See? 
side to zero. I got a home key. Pause break. Pause break. Goes up here. It's embarrassing. I don't know what some of these mean. And it goes on the bottom. And we're missing one dash. Which is this one. So after putting this one in, this entire part of the keyboard is done. Now we need something after P. That's going to be this fancy one. As it's a closed or an open square bracket. After this square bracket, we need a closed square bracket. upside down and after F we have a G I have a G very good and after G we have H H H we have J which I already put in and a K and an L Give us too much. Actually, 
that's not going in too well. So maybe it's supposed to go the other way. I think I gotta put some of these in. It's it's made a mess out of everything. Can you imagine? Okay. Let's try and get some of these. The top in. I'm gonna try and do this without mucking up the board. Okay, good. So after that was the search one. Yeah, because the other keys were staying in place. But these were all falling over. Put 
I'm happy with that. Now I believe we need to flip this over.
hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a little bit different than what I usually do. Actually, I guess, really, it's not that different from what I usually do. Uh, but maybe different than what you expected. But nonetheless, thank you, as you gave me a little bit of extra motivation to get this done. I think we did a pretty good job. All things considered, this being a very cheap um, keyboard, I'm really happy with how everything came together. Um, if you're seeing this video at a reasonable date, that means I fixed, or at least I put the keyboard together back correctly. And if I didn't, um, I'll have that included in the description. And if it doesn't work, um, I'll detail as to what went wrong. But that is the negative part of me talking. I think everything should be working splendidly. One, two, three. you only the best of sleep.